Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So right now I am barefaced. So this is actually what my skin looks like at the moment. It is not rare for me to have these weird red spots on my face. So in this video I am going to show you how I do my face base my base makeup. Basically what I do to cover up all my imperfections and how I make my skin look beautiful. I'm gonna put my hair back. I'm going to use the MAC Stroke Cream. I'm using the Peach Light. It doesn't really matter which one I use. I use this for the ingredient purposes. It is calming for the skin and it has some antibacterial things that are good if you have, you know, problematic skin as I do. So I just rub it in. And of course, before I do any of my makeup, I have cleansed my skin, used moisturizer, toner, and everything. Then I'm going to use the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. This is perfect as a primer or, you know, just a base before foundation. It looks like this. It has a very smooth, silky consistency and you don't need a lot. I use about this amount. And I just place it around my face and just really rub it in. And you don't want to use a lot of this because if you use too much, your face will feel very greasy. So my makeup base is actually the thing that I use the most time on in my whole makeup routine. I just want to be thorough. I want to blend everything out. I want to wrap everything in so everything looks super smooth and not cakey. I hate cakey makeup. To the Miracle Worker, I am using the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And I'm in the shade 2.4 and if I'm not using this, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. I like that yellow undertone. A little goes a long way, it's super lightweight and it will cover shit up. I'll just show you. So I'm just gonna place like that on my cheek. And I'm using a flat brush like this. So let me show you. I just go in circular motions, just spread everything out and just like beating, dabbing. So oh, I don't want to get foundation on my earring. Do you see that? <laughs> that is insane. So I will take my time just dabbing around like this so I make sure that everything is in place, that everything is spread out evenly. Moving on to concealer. I'm actually running low on concealer. I'm in the process of getting a new one. A lot of people have been recommending the Tarte Shape Tape and I like to do what other people don't do but at the same time I'm like if it's that good maybe I should give it a try but Prior, I have been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have been using the Lottie London. And what is it even called? Got it covered. This is really good also. Very good coverage. And I have been using the Revolution Concealer. And I'm running low. I'm dried up. So today I'm using this MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in light. I like this as well because it just gives a really beautiful brightening effect. And I really like that. And it's just a stick like this and I just put that under my eye and then right here and this is not for covering this is just you know the contouring brightening effect that we are working on here right here also I'm not being thorough or trying to be perfect here I just smack it on and around here I'm going back to this brush and I just buff it in and I'm not swiping at all I just press like really quickly next step is powder and I use two different shades of powder 
and actually at the moment I'm also using two different powders. This is my miracle worker, number two. I guess this was number one, right? This is number two. A sponge like this will change your makeup game. I know it might be unpopular and this is just what old ladies use for their makeup, I don't know. But I use these guys and let me show you. I'm going to start off by powdering my under eye and all the places we just put on concealer. At the moment I'm using the Revolution Matte Base Powder and this is in the shade P2. I just go in, we have something on there, and then I dab it under my eye and just going in as you need it. And again, no swiping, dabbing. So we lock everything in place. You already see the difference between the two eyes. And then I also place it on top of my nose, on the forehead. Then I'm going to powder the rest of my face and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And I'm using the shade NC40. This is my favorite powder in the entire world. The first time I ever tried this, I was like, why have I never tried this in my life? This will cover everything that hasn't been covered. It will make sure your makeup stays on. So I'm just gonna take a normal, I guess you would call it powder brush. Just go in there and I start off by patting and then I swipe around. So when I feel like I'm done, I just stroke my cheeks to make sure that everything is smooth. So the next step for me is obviously bronzer. I am using this one and it's called Give Me Sun by MAC. The most amazing bronzer I have ever tried. It's orange as I like it. I use this type of brush. And this is the MAC 140S. So I just go in like this and I just blend like this. And then I proceed to the jaw, my forehead. I try not to have as much product on the brush. And then what I actually do, I just put bronzer on the tip of my nose. I don't do the whole contouring thing. Going back with my powder brush and especially on my forehead, blend everything out so it doesn't look like tuk, tuk, tuk. I don't always use the same blush. Actually, I change it up every day just as I don't wear the same eyeshadow every day. So blush and highlighter, it's not the same every day. I change it up. I'm going to use my favorite blush and this is the Melba Bluff from MAC. And I like to use I don't know, I just like a more compact, more stiff brush like this. So I just go in, just on one side, and I just blend it in. I'm the type of person, I like a lot of blush. In my experience, this looks great on every skin tone. And it's also very beautiful for, you know, a peachy shadow. And what I have left on the nose as well, a little bit on a chin. I'm going to use the Soft and Gentle Highlighter from MAC. The brushes I use for highlighter, it varies. The tools you're using will give you a different outcome. I'll grab this one. This is the MAC 164S. Just going in there. You could wet this if you wanted to with some Fix Plus or something, but I'm not into that. I'm not into that blinding highlighter. Not my thing. Anyways, I'm just gonna, and then what I do is I always put on highlighter right here, here, and then on my nose. I'll put on the rest of my makeup and go. So this was it for my video. This is just what I do to make my skin, you know, I'm cracked, snap. I just want to show you everything put together. I didn't do anything else to my skin than what I showed you. For the eyeshadow today, I used the Maybelline Burgundy Bar. And for brows, I know some people have been asking, I used the uh, MAC Fluid Line Gel Cream. And I used the Dirty Blonde Shade Lips. I just used MAC uh, Morning Coffee Lip Liner and max creme de nude lipstick my favorite lipstick of all time and just max um clear lip glass 
on top. Um, I don't think there's more to it than this. So I'll end this here. At this point in time, yeah, Corona is still here. We're still trying to get through it. Uh, people are still at home. I'm home. Stay at home. And as I said in my last video, I feel so strongly about this. I do everything that I can. So please do the same and all my well wishes and of course my condolences to everyone. So I'll end this here. Thank you so much for watching and if you would like, check out some of my other videos. <coughs> wow, I have not had a burp this deep in forever. I'm more a fart person. My farts, they're silent, but they'll attack you. What was I saying? Oh yeah, and also if you would like to see what else I do in my life besides sitting here, check out my Instagram, same handle, but I'll put it. Thank you for your support and see you another.